Please tell me why that happens. So frequent flyers on my channel will know that I am building a new place and studio down in Texas, which is 1600 miles away from here. And I am moving things down in a cargo trailer and cargo trailers get very hot, particularly in Texas, particularly in the summer. So in order to help ventilate it, I figured I could install an 80 millimeter server fan without cutting any additional holes. We'll see if it makes a difference, but I ordered one and here it is. And of course, when it came in, the first thing I had to do was play with it. Easy. And I did exactly what you saw in the intro of the video. I turned it on, I put my hand in front of it, and it fell over. Okay, seems logical, right? Until you start to think about it. Now I'll tell you up front, I am not 100% sure why this happens. The more I thought about it, the more confused I became, and then I tried doing some experiments and it got even weirder still. So if you know, I mean definitively know, Put it down in the comments. Actually, if you have a theory, put it down in the comments. Actually, if you've been abducted by aliens, tell me about it in the comments. But let's look at this. So this is basically your run-of-the-mill fan. Most people know how a fan works. It scoops in air and pushes it out, right? Creates low pressure on this side, high pressure on that side. You know, up until the point of cavitation anyway, and that's going to be determined by speed and pitch angle and blade width and design and all that. These things can move a fair amount of air. And this one, as you heard, you don't want to use it in your home PC, but it does spin at almost 6,000 RPM. It is pretty fast and it is pretty loud and it moves a lot of air. In fact, it will practically hover on its own, which is why I did exactly what I did. I didn't stick my finger in it, although that happened by accident and it really freaking hurts. But for whatever reason... Ooh. <laughs> but while it makes perfect sense that when this thing is spinning, let's power it back up, it's going to generate enough thrust to slowly slide across the desk here as it gets up to speed. There it goes. When I put my hand here, it immediately, it's like I'm pushing it back. And then it falls over. But think this through with me, okay? So my hand was a pretty good distance away. You would think with all this open space, the air would just deflect out in all these different directions, right? But clearly it doesn't. So my only theory is that the air that's being pressurized by this fan on this side is in some state of laminar flow, which then sort of becomes like a cushioned physical extension of the fan. And when I push against it, that's what increases the force. So, you know, logically, I'm like, hey, let's put it on a scale and see how much thrust it actually generates. And then that's when it got a little bit weirder. So let me put it on a scale and show you what I'm talking about. All right, so here's my little drug scale. It's not a drug scale. Well, I suppose you could use it for that. But I don't. I use it for weird stuff like this. All right, let's set this thing on on here. I know it's... Hopefully you can see it in the head camera here. Let me tear it, which means setting it to zero. Okay, so let's power it up and see how much thrust this puppy generates. So roughly 36 grams of thrust. Now watch what happens when I put my hand in front of it. It starts to increase. We can get it all the way up to a high of 70 or so. But if I get too close, it goes back down. See, it's now 54. But if I'm about a half inch or a centimeter or so off, that seems to be the sweet spot. Okay, right? Makes sense. Here's where it gets really wacky. Let's take something flat, right? Because your hand has all this texture in it, right? And my hand has more texture in it because, well, I've lived a rough life. Let's put it that way. So here's a flat board, right? If I put this over, you'd think this would generate more thrust. Let's see if we can achieve that. 60, 63, trying to keep this as flat as possible, oh, 
the most I'm seeing really is about 60. Whereas with my hands, we can repeatedly 68, 69, 68, 69, 70. So, shut this annoying thing off. So, explain this to me, oh geniuses of the interwebs. I would automatically assume that this would be less diffuse. This would provide more force, more thrust, more whatever this function is here that I'm hoping you all can explain to me, I would think that this would increase it. But no, this, 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 if you watched, what is the guy's name? Davey 504 on you. Slap like now. Yeah, that guy. I mean, this, 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 I don't understand why this. I mean, is it because there's more surface area that it's pushing it? But that doesn't make any sense because you would think this, you know, the sides of my finger would give it, you know, a place for the air to to blow off to the side. I I don't know. Please tell me. I don't know. I don't know. I actually legitimately don't know. I am bewildered, hornswoggled. I do not understand what is happening here in the world of science. So, all you engineers, all you smart people, tell me what you think is happening here. Because I genuinely, I would love to know. Because who knows, maybe we can figure out a way to leverage this technology. This phenomenon. This... This England... <laughs> so thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes and i am working as quickly as possible to make this a rather full-time type of sciencey fun dumb car slash science channel and that will be happening very soon of course those of you who live in the states may be aware that we just went through a massive heat wave down south and actually apparently one of my contractors down there suffered heat stroke i guess uh which is understandable and i had a genius drive into the truck you idiot. which thank god i have a dash cam i may make a video about that let's see let's just wait for their insurance company to pony up and then you know we'll see but anyway i just at this point i am just ramp oh by the way because you watch to the end, you may have noticed a scar on this hand. How did I do that? Playing basketball. How? I got my hand caught in the net and pulled the tendons out. Ouch. 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 And now you know something about me because you watched to the end. Thanks again. I'll catch you all in the next one.